here with Cunningham and we're team anyone can get up we do another dot to Michael Thomas now hey guys what's going on it's King Clutch here now today guys we're back on the Madden 18 draft champions now real quick what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be having the best overall challenge on how this is we're gonna work it's just my opinion on how I can build the best overall draft champs team so I put this I'm speeding this up because these drafts I don't speed them up they take forever so you guys can quickly just see who I'm picking now I'll just tell you guys this is how I think the best way to build a um, draft champions team like how to get the highest overall every single time what you want to do usually obviously you don't want repeated positions so when you get these like I, I like to pick lots of safeties and corners receivers um, you can definitely pick up offensive linemen because they will help out your overall a lot. Like, if you pick up offensive linemen, help out actually quite a bit once if you get at least four or three of them. And they usually play pretty well. Now, real quick, I just want to touch on something when you're go going through picking on these. Don't, if you ever get a quarterback separate, don't pick them. If you ever get a running back separate, usually don't pick them. Um, like there will be an example here in a minute, but like here I'm picking safeties and corners because I like to lot, run a lot of secondary based defenses because then you can get a lot of more plays on the ball, things like that. And especially with the hit power being high, you can definitely get those too. So here we're going to pick up TJ Watts. So the team's looking pretty good so far. You know, we got seven rounds left now here. Like I could pick some receivers, but I decided to go with Ron Woodson because I like to have corners. I like to have at least four good corners. Four good corners and then a safe, each of the safeties. Now, also, tackles are huge. Definitely pick up right and left tackles if you do get the options. Because if people have really good ends and they send the pressure, it helps to have somebody that can actually block. Like here, I just decided to go with Damon Harrison because a defensive tackle is nice too. I didn't really need a running or a um, uh, linebacker at that time. Now, here for these running back rounds, I'm going to go end up going with Melvin Gordon. But when there's the running back rounds and there is another running back, usually do not pick them. There is only one or two exceptions that I will make to that. If it's a very good running back, is the only one I will make. But then we're going to pick up Pat Pete. We're going to get him. Now, guys, hopefully you can follow along with this. This is just my draft strategy personally. Like, I like, and then the ends you can draft too because you can move around. Now, here I decide to go with CJ2K. He is one of the only exceptions I make to drafting a second running back. Just because his overall is so high. And if I had like a 95 Lady on Bell, I wouldn't do it. It's just when there's a big difference between the two, I will definitely go ahead and do it. Now, guys, here's what the squad is looking like. We got an 87 overall. I've gotten 89s before. Really, you should be guaranteed an 87 at least if you draft. If you don't draft a ton of multiple positions, but preferably for me to get the best draft champs team, I like to have multiple corners and safety. So there's our squad, Chris Johnson, Randall Cunningham, and Michael Thomas. And then definitely you want to have multiple receivers too. I like to have at least two. If you only have one, that sucks. You want to have more than two. You want to have three because then you can run more more sets and it makes it easier if they don't pick corners so you're running back here the Randall Cunningham and we throw a dot to Michael Thomas he makes a great catch on the middle of the field that's what we wanted guys but real quick while I'm in this tell me what your guys' favorite NFL team is comment it down below right before this play starts we're back here with Cunningham and we're team anyone can get open we throw another dot to Michael Thomas now that really could have been a pick if he would have played that a little bit better but we got the TD right there anyways I'm happy about that it's third and ten for him the defense is clamping up we're seeing what we can do here and he tries to get a good pass down the middle now that could have been a catch, but we made a very good play on the ball, which was great. Um, now, guys, another draft champs tip, just in Mutt in general. I always put my, if you go down to the all the way down to the bottom, I don't remember what exactly the tab is, like coaching adjustments. Put it on, um, there we do get a pick, but put it on when the corners, or it's like the first thing there. Um, it says you can either like swap ball, play receiver, or whatever. Always put it on play ball. I always put it on play ball because the chance of you getting picks when you guys have people in like hard flats and things like that, or just manned up. Like there, like there we get the pick with Rob Woodson. But I mean, if you guys have them on play ball, they'll play the ball. Like there, he played the passing lane. So if you put him on the play ball, the chance of them picking the ball off is much higher. So definitely go ahead and do that. So guys, we are up by 13. The defense is playing great. And if you guys don't know, like I am not very good at offense. Majority of the time, my scoring comes from my defense my scoring comes from my defense I get my I get a turnover or something like that and I'm able to win off of defense and my offense isn't that good my offense is marginal my defense is a little bit better than marginal and I'm working and then I'm working on trying to get more you know like more adjustment things more individual adjustments trying to do better on defense but if you play good on defense if you guys um you know get some sacks get some good pressure he's going for it fourth and 11 again there we should get that pick but that ball went really really far thankfully CJ2K didn't pick that up so guys 
guys. It is our ball. It's first and ten. We're back here with Randall Cunningham. See what we're able to do. We're surveying the field. He's got two safeties back there running some cover too. So we're back here running out to the side. And I see Michael Thomas. We throw him a dot. You know, that's all we throw. We're throwing freaking dots. Like, he can't stop my dots. Here we're going to kick this field goal real quick. I wasn't able to get any further down the field. It's fourth and six. Hopefully we can make this. And we had a little bit of a lag. But it does look like we are just barely going to squeak that field goal in and get three points. So we are up 16 to zero going into halftime, which is very good. I'm happy about this. It's first and 10. He's been driving down the field pretty well. We haven't been able to stop him. And also, depending on who you play, their defense is going to be different. Like the way their offense is. There you get another pick with that hard flat kind of the, I don't even know. I think it was a cloud flat. I don't know what it was. We had that set up pretty well. He would like to throw to the flats a lot. So I wanted to make sure I always had someone in the flats so you can pick the balls off. Because when people, you just got to see how the person's playing. They usually like everyone has a like certain way they like to throw the ball. So anyways, we're back here. Second and 12. See what we can do. We got our tight end open, and we do hit Eric Ebron, and he does complete the catch. That was a pretty good catch. He got hit pretty hard, too. We're back here, guys. We're seeing what we can do. And I do see that in route or the out route. We got the out right there to Cooper, and he does get into the end zone for a TD. Amari Cooper got us another TD there. We're playing very well right now. We're already up 22-0, to and it's 90. It's halftime already. And we had to make the PAT. So he's going for it. Third and one. Seeing what he can do. He's rolling out with Steve Young. That should be another pick, but we weren't able to correct. Rallied in. Now that was a good defense. Otherwise, he could have caught that, got the first down. He was able to convert, though, on fourth down. So we're back here. Third and 14. See what we can do on defense. Seeing if we can get pretty good pressure. There. He tries to force the ball, but he does make a great read. He was pretty open, and he did make the catch there, so he did get the first down. It's second and 10. Trying to send some pressure. See what we're able to do. Got the outsides covered. There. He gets a great read down the middle. We had the, we had the middle was wide open. So he did score a TD there. Finally, he did score. So we have, we got to just run the clock. Pretty much, there's a minute left in the third. He's going for this onside kick here, which was, ex I expected him to do that. I just didn't feel like changing the play. Now, here the ball goes out of bounds, kind of, but for some reason, okay, there's a flag, so he gets a legal touching, but I have a decline option of a safety. I don't know if that would be my, I'm assuming it'd be a safety for me, so I'm not gonna accept it, but that was weird. I've never seen that before. So it is first and goal. He's got so many people in the box. Let's pass this ball. There's no way he's gonna stop this. So there, we do hit Cooper down the middle of the field for the TD, guys. Now, he had so many people in the box, like, that was an easy touchdown. I I don't know what he was he was completely playing run commit so there guys he did pause the game I'm, he might quit i don't know what's gonna happen real quick here i'm waiting for him waiting for him see what's gonna happen and he did quit guys so we ended up getting a w in that game and guys again tell me what your favorite nfl team is down in the comments below but hopefully you did enjoy the video anyways guys have a great rest of your day and peace out guys thanks